There we go. And I'm back. <sighs> so much like force in this. Anyway, it's gonna be a rubble and Revis bike. I mean, just look at it. There's so much air blowing through the fing <sighs> or. I don't say air, I mean the exhaust fumes blowing through the bike. Just when, I, when you're in the junction behind them. I mean, he revs his bike to get out of it. <laughs> it all goes into my, my face when my visor is open. Because it usually is when I stop, so I could get some fresh air into my helmet and so that uh, my helmet doesn't frost up inside. Or fog up inside. <laughs> So yeah guys, for the drift, uh, every 10 minutes is 1 gigabyte of uh, storage space um, at 1080p, 30 frames a second. So he told me that he has 8 gigs left in his memory card but because he uh, didn't get enough time to um, export all the footage onto his computer. Then delete it so it makes more space on the drift. So it has about 80 minutes of recording uh, available. And I have about probably an hour because um, we were watching the footage of the crazy pedestrian walking his dog and the car pulling out in front or appearing in front. If you haven't guys seen that, you can check that out. I'll post a link. Oh, pretty, pretty horrible moment. Probably one of my more, more, more intense moments I've had so far. Okay. I did. <laughs> I just kind of felt my back tire on the side. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> there were rocks spraying everywhere. Good thing today isn't so dry, so dust isn't flying everywhere. Please, that's a plus. We're so wet country. Are you doing? One day this road will ruin my four seals. Or my rear spray, either one. I wouldn't be surprised if both go at the same time. <laughs> Why you make so little space? Uh, why do I have to go first? I don't want to go first. I have to avoid the bumps in the road. Oh look, he's right beside me. I have to go with this huge ass man hole. Yeah, we took me away. So what was the point of going first? I don't know. Oh well. Anyway guys, uh, we're heading out to a park. Not from, not far from his city. Uh, I've never really been there. So, <laughs> to be honest, it's not really the perfect weather to go to a park. But we're bored. And he has to go to work soon, so we will check it out. As long as I have enough fuel to get home, <laughs> everything is good. Stop! 
make it a f***ing loud uh, sound. <laughs> Go to a higher gear or something. <laughs> Look away, you see. Because I don't want to. I want to relax after that. Um, occurrence with the pedestrian, the, the dog walking, the odd out in, the oncoming side of the road. Just want to relax, cause that took took a bit out of me, a bit of energy. Out. But at the same time, I did, my, I did my daily exercise, so I wasn't really feeling that well in the first place. Now I'm even worse. And it's gonna start to get dark soon, in about two hours. Which is probably gonna impact my driving even more. But the bus is still there for some reason, it's probably sold for scrap or something. Or it's being repaired by farmers. You never know. I hope no one tries to pull out on him uh, today. Because it's the same row that a uh, woman pulled out on him. What happened here, Mr. Boss? Oh, sh! Don't explode on me now. <laughs> the hissing noise like a cat oh wow yeah you filtered so much Ziggy that's so worth it <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was some extreme filtering right there for you guys uh, that shop is always full of some teenage horse or some shit It's always full of them, for some reason. It's just one of those neighborhoods. Not, not one of the good ones. <laughs> oh, what the f***? That's some f***ing parking job. Jesus, me out of the f***ing road. Horrible. See those thongs through those pants? Jesus, get a pair of extra pants or something. <laughs> You're literally walking butt naked. Ah, oh, dust in my fing eye. Like always. Shits. So annoying as well. Because you can't see the fing row, literally. No! Cunt. Cunt sorry. <laughs> Careful car, don't you try to switch lanes or some shit. Oh wow, thanks for hitting me out of green. I know the way! Jesus. I've been through a great gallon before. Not really the, the lane we have to go to, but... Don't fall off. that lane now. Yeah. But I have to wait for you because I knew you were going to turn somewhere else again. What? I knew you were going to turn somewhere else again. No. If I skip to look at the sign. <laughs> so I can be there before I... Acceleration of the Yeah. At least this city has trains, not, not like mine. Uh, my my city's a uh, rail trail tracks are being closed down and salvaged because uh, about a hundred years ago there was a huge crash. Uh, from the train station of my city where I live 
Anyway, there was a big ass crash uh, from my city to a place called Warren Point towards uh, his workplace and the train was going with exceeding amount of passengers but the engine wasn't strong enough to withhold that because the one it was supposed to travel with was taken but they went it anyway, thought it would hold up and they were going along about a quarter way through the through the road and it was a hill and they as it was was going up the hill it slowly slowed down to a halt and then uh, without really knowing someone released the brakes so the train started to rapidly go down the hill well, the problem was there was another oncoming lane. Simply because that first train was so slow, the other train caught up. And back then there were no radars, there were no radios, so no one really, no one could really contact anyone and do an emergency stop. So basically, the train went down, and the other train came at a high speed. I believe. Both trains were going about 40 to 70 miles an hour and they hit each other and there was a they were on the hill so as they crashed the carriages uh, or yeah the carriages uh, toppled over to the side and rolled out and some people while they saw the two trains before they collided some people jumped out the windows and threw their children out some children made it with injuries some most children died so yeah, that was a big ass disaster and slowly, so because of it, people didn't want to go on trains anymore just because of that fear and then cars started to come in and uh, trains became low demand there so they closed it down because it just wasn't worth it anymore but all the, all the other cities have their rail tracks left as they used to be